everybody welcome back to another video the t on mpd and relationships hello everyone to all of my new subscribers and new followers new family members welcome hello everyone to my tribe and family at large welcome back y'all hey <laughs> welcome back listen thank you so much for coming back and watching another video y'all listen y'all make sure y'all tell somebody that'll tell somebody that will tell somebody about our thursday night live streams y'all you know we go live every thursday night right here on the channel listen i'd love to see you here 5 p.m pacific standard time is where it all goes down y'all listen what you need to know is god meets us right here okay he does he comes and gives us a good revelation you know um <clears throat> This is where we take our healing to wholeness, to boldness, okay? So you don't want to miss Thursday night live streams because those actually are the missing pieces to you actually getting to your place of wholeness, all right? So y'all make sure y'all tell somebody that'll tell somebody, amen? Y'all, and that's 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And y'all, every time we drop a video on the channel, the goal of the day is 2.1K plus, 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 if you rocks with your girl, all right? If you rock with your girl if you rocks with your girl hit that like button all right y'all pay it forward okay make sure make sure make sure somebody hit it for you all hit the like button for someone else okay so they can get this information y'all listen this is what ministry is about is we help each other okay all right y'all let's jump into the topic of this video family let's talk about it okay what the narcissist is thinks you know everything that the narcissist thinks they have to look forward to uh in life without you okay let's let's go let's talk about it y'all don't forget to hit that like button for your girl okay so y'all i wanted to do this topic because i want you all to see what the mind of a narcissist is like you know what they're thinking when they're going into this devalue discard because you know these clowns they are very foolish you know when it comes to decision making because they don't have a lot of wisdom but they are very manipulative and the fact that they don't learn from their mistakes doesn't help the situation i said it <laughs> okay how you going to be, you know, you're going to be this mastermind of all of these different things, you know, because they want you to worship them, right? They want you to, they want to be your God, but yet they are a jack of so many trades, but master of none, so they say. Yeah, so let's go. They think that they have all of these things to look forward to because remember now, when you don't you probably don't know this but a narcissist when they're going through the devaluation stage they actually are they are actually getting high off of your negative energy like they got high off of your positive energy in the beginning yes so when they're going through the devaluation stage this is why they can be so nasty because the the more the more uh, disrespectful they are, the greater your reaction. You know, like it's, you know, it's jarring, it's shocking. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so y'all listen, excuse me. I'm going to teach a little bit in this video. So the greater your reaction in the devaluation, the more jarring they behave, you know, the more jarring things they say and the way that they behave, it's like, what, what is happening? Yeah. So they are actually, you know, they're they're getting a, a rush from all of these different things that they're saying and they're doing to you. But what they're doing is they're amping up for the new supply, you know, or the back burner supply that they're with. Y'all don't mind my hair because uh, I'm curly cues today. This is natural state, okay? <laughs> y'all wondering what's going on with the hair it's my hair is naturally curly and it curls and rings you know little ringlets anyway <clears throat> excuse me i digress so um 
if you so this is this is what's happening so when you look at it in totality they got to have this they got to have this fuel they got to have this energy to love bomb the new supply or the back burner supply now what they're thinking is all of these things that are going through their minds they're having a rush of thoughts and everything else and how do you know this because you got to understand the spiritual dna or the spiritual backdrop of what's happening you got to understand that narcissists run with tormenting spirits and not only do they run with tormenting spirits but they have a lion spirit <clears throat> excuse me, they have a lion spirit as well, okay? And so anytime you get those two together, you know, they're always going to create a facade, you know, for the individual that they are using, such as the narcissist, so that individual can continue to engage in all of these demonic behaviors so these particular spirits can be fed. Because watch this, once you're gone, the tormenting spirit is going to really start to show their ugly face to the narcissist yes y'all hit that like button for your girl yes so and these are just two of the ones but there are so many others in the backdrop okay so this narcissist is sitting back i mean they licking they chops they like oh, i'm about to get rid of this person male or female it doesn't matter i'm about to get rid of this person i'm about to get out there and get loose i'm about to get out there and do my thing i'm I'm so tired and bored of this individual. Man, I they get on my nerves. And y'all could see. Y'all know I'm not lying. At the end right there, that narcissist was cutting up. They were showing their natural behinds. Do you hear me? And so you were sitting there like, I cannot even believe this person is like this. Like, what? where did I miss it? Yes. That's, it's meant to be that way because the, the greater your reaction to their disrespect and the greater your reaction to their, uh, their verbal abuse, their disrespect, their bad behavior, that amps them up even more. And what the, what this, uh, what these clowns don't understand <clears throat> is that the, everything that they think they have to look forward to out there, uh, going, hopping from bed to bed to bed, Everything that they have, they think they have uh, to look forward to, they don't understand that when the power source is removed, they don't have any more power. <laughs> Y'all, did you hear what I said? When the power source is removed, which is yourself, see, this is, and they don't understand this either. The, their number one assignment was to destroy the core essence of who you are. So these, these birds, they really think that they are sitting up there getting ready to, I mean, they, they got the, they got the supplies lined up. Some of y'all gonna testify. Y'all probably found about two, three different women in their phones. Y'all fellas out there probably found about two or three different men in her phone. Okay. It, it, it's, it's the way that they work and see, because they have no empathy. They don't have the ability to learn from their mistakes. So you got a clown sitting here thinking that they are getting over on, on someone when actually what's happening is they are the one that, that is actually going to be looking like boo-boo the fool. You know what I'm saying? They are the ones that's going to be sitting there looking crazy because they don't understand when they're going through this devaluation stage how important of a, of a piece, you know, the centerpiece of their their whole matrix is they don't understand the importance of you and they will not understand it and they won't grasp the concept of it until you're gone <laughs> until you're gone because how many of you know when you rip the power source out where where are you going to get this energy because the energy that they're surviving on through the devaluation stage while they're love bombing these people it's only going to last so long and then they're going to be going to be down to nothing why because those supplies that they've picked up they can't maintain and sustain the narcissist like you did you see what i'm saying you were the centerpiece i tell y'all this all the time but they think that they have they think they have uh, to look forward to nobody questioning them, you know, nobody uh, asking them, you know, well, why, what's wrong? You know, what's happening when they don't know what's wrong themselves? Because they're crazy. They got all these different personalities rolling around in their heads. One talking to them the next minute. Another one talking to them the next minute. <laughs> I'm telling you, they don't know what's going on. I mean, they flying by the 
seat of their pants. So then you sitting there and get, they don't have, they don't have to, they sitting there thinking to themselves, I don't have to put up with this no more. Y'all hit that like button for me. I don't have to put up with this person asking me questions anymore. You know, they already told the family you're crazy. You are, you know, they already told the family that, right? They told the family you're crazy. They told the family that they had to, uh, they had to, uh, to leave you in order to, to save their mental health. They told the family that you were a liar, that you were a cheater. They told the family all kinds of horrible lies about you. So guess what? The family is on board with them saying, yeah, you know, you don't have to deal with that anymore. Blah, blah, blah. And the family know that they are some whole birds because the family is some birds too. They some clan of crows. I said it. Yes, I said it. Yes, I did. So they think that they have all of this to look forward to. And they got that clan of crows back there backing them up, just chirping, you know, like some birds. <laughs> Like some birds, you know what I'm saying? Some real birds. They back there with the peanut gallery going. And these clowns get out there and they make that, they make the ultimate mistake of saying, I, well, this is over. I'm this and that. But it's actually not a mistake. The discard is actually a blessing. But yeah, they think they got all of this to look forward to until they realize that the power source has been snatched away from them. Then they, <gasps> You know how somebody get out there in the middle of something, like in the middle of the water, they realize they can't swim, <gasps> and the air being sucked out of them, and they sinking fast? Yes, that's the narcissist. Then what happens? What happened to these dodo birds? What happened to them? Get out there. Oh, I got, you know, they were talking big talk. Y'all, listen, they were talking big talk before they left. Oh, yes, they were. Oh, you know what? See, that's why I don't want to be with you anyway. Because you do this and you do that. And, and and lying on you, telling you you did everything to them that uh, they actually did to you. Gaslighting the mess out of you. You know, double bind. You, you can't do nothing right. You understand what I'm saying? So they got all of this going on. And I and I'm, I never want to see you again. Never come back. I mean, some of them put y'all out of their house. Some of you, some of you got put out the house. Some of you got left on the side of the road. Some, I mean, just some horrible situations. I know y'all going to testify in the comment section, but see, these are all of the things that they think that they have to look forward to. But what they actually have uh, to look forward to is a life of misery, torment, and pain. Why? Because the buffer that buffered them from all of this misery, torment, and pain was was you and now you are gone you're out of the picture and so the reality of what their life really is it comes full force at them at once and this is why you see them a lot of times especially if they didn't really have that good supply backed up or you know something at least suitable you will see them birds flying back. I mean, they coming back like some scalded ducks. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just literally like something just nuts. You know what I'm saying? And you're like, well, what happened? You know, it didn't take you long to figure out that you didn't have the power source connected anymore. Snatch that power grid up out of there. And listen, and don't you ever let them come back. Ever. Let them come back because what they thought they had to look forward to was actually what you, what you provided them with. And see, what you provided them with was you, they thought that what they had to look forward to was the same thing that you provided them with when they got out there and they found out that that story was completely different. Mm -mm. This is where this is where you let them stay right there in that mess that they just created. Yeah, that mess that you sh they just created and the one that they had already been uh, creating and constructing in your life. You use that opportunity to go and stay gone. Yes, because this is what they think. They think they are, their life is going to be so wonderful. They got all of these things to look forward to. No questions. No questions about what, they, what they're going to do. Uh, when they're going to do it. Who they're going to do it with. Because all you were trying... Y'all hit that like button for me, please. Because all you were trying to do was to protect and, and, and care for the clown. But these are some foolish people. And one thing about a fool is that they decide 
despise wisdom. And that is the embodiment of who you are. Once you become healed and once you become whole, you will see the wisdom begin to come out of you. You pray and ask God for wisdom and he will give it to you. But you know what? The best wisdom you can ever exercise in a situation like this is leave them birds alone. Let them birds go clucking out. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Let them go clucking and croaking and whatever else they do. Wah, wah, wah. Back to their clan of crows. All right. All right, y'all. So listen, y'all, uh, please like and share the video. I love you all, family, and do something really nice for yourselves, okay? And I will see you all on the next video. And I will see you all healed and whole at the top. Shalom, family. Peace.